Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year of unknown with professional wrestling content galore, and we need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after we review the previous night's Monday Night Raw, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with the unpredictable WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights after WWE, NXT, and AEW at 10 p.m., you never know who's going to show up on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey Through the 80s and 90s on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday nights after the lights go down at the Thunderdome on SmackDown, it's John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. If you want early, ad-free access to all of our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and to help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021. Right now, the test thing is going to be in the news. You had the Benoit situation right around the corner from you guys a few yep. years ago. Eight miles. Really? How about that again? Eight miles away. Eight miles away. Oh. And speaking of that, well, that's one of the, unfortunately, one of the bigger issues that ever came up in wrestling. I mean, you were working with Benoit right before you left SmackDown in 2005. You guys were neighbors of him. Your thoughts on the unfortunate tragedy with Benoit and Nancy Sullivan? You know, who knows what happened. I did a lot of miles with him, and he... He seemed like a fine guy to me. We'd rent a car together and go. You know, seemed like a fine guy. I knew Nancy for years. I knew her back when she was with, uh, uh, what's the hell's his name, Kevin. Kevin, yeah. And uh, just who knows what happened, but but I know it was, you know, dead ass wrong. Yeah. And uh, no matter what happened, it uh, nobody deserved that. No, especially a young kid. I know yeah. Paul, like you said, eight miles away. Benoit was someone you worked with in WCW. What did you think when you either got that first phone call or you put on the news and you heard about it for the first time? I got mad. You know, sad and mad, yeah. you know, especially the little baby. Yeah. Seven years old. Break my heart, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he took whatever happened to you. know, Nobody will ever know what happened. Yeah. No. So... But might as well. Ain't nothing would make me do something like that unless you went nuts. Yeah, yeah. you gotta know. You had to yeah. go nuts. But, uh. Maybe seven years old, right? And the same thing, especially where you guys lived, like I said, a few miles away. You must have been, must have been in your eyes just about 24 7 nonstop. It was on, you know, the, the Nancy Graces yeah. and the Bill O'Reilly's yeah. of the world every night. But you guys live there. I mean, it must have been on local news and the newspapers. It must have been front and center in the forehead of your face if you were around town. I, believe it or not, not too many people. Really? A few, but not nothing. You know, and these something that tragic, they just is. leave it alone. Yeah. The cable news made a lot out of it where they need to try and pop the ratings. It's almost like wrestling. They have to try and pop the ratings instead of once a week, <coughs> yeah. every night. I mean, it was in the paper and stuff, but yeah. it, it wasn't. I saw him one month before that happened, Westbury, Pennsylvania, TV tape, on the row. And he come to me and says, Sheik, I live in Fayetteville, Georgia. You live many years over. Give me your phone number. I'll call you. Come visit me. I'm alone. That was the last time I saw him one month before that happened. But I can't believe it, how kind of father he was. He did that little baby, Daniel, and that would break my heart, and I cried for that. But uh, something was wrong. Maybe him or must be something wrong what, with his doctor to give right. him a medicine like candy, which is that doctor also. They asked him. They suspended, they caught him. Yeah. And I don't know what I said. I just get shocked because we all live faith with Georgia. I live for five minutes from Paul and five, ten minutes from him. Most of my life, I live faith with Georgia. Well, it's those types of things that unfortunately give wrestling a negative stigma sometimes. But again, the positives to us and the millions of fans that enjoy it each and every week, 
you know, that outweighs when you do hear about the, the tragedies like well, this. Well, it doesn't matter what walk of life you go into. Right. You've got your... Right, exactly. You know, exactly. It, it you doesn't have, matter. It's just, just who builds what up. It just depends on who does what. Some people like, you know, not to have nothing to do with... Uh, uh, government, you know, or politics, right. but if it's not Obama, they'll say anything about anybody. And uh, uh, right now, that's the way it is. You know what I mean? So, so everything goes with the trends and with the times, and when they got something, you know, they shove it down your throat.